Welcome back, everybody. Marilyn is joining me now from the Adult Liter Literacy Council. That's what they're here to help us with. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm, I'm working on it. I'm working on it every day. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about what you do. Oh, well, we meet and greet and make people feel welcomed, and it's wonderful to have adult learners. We've got a child, a child, excuse me, a young person that is 15 that uh, is working right now on his high school diploma and uh, high set and, and GED, both of those. And so we've got 15 year olds that are coming in that are homeschooled, 18 year olds that have always been homeschooled that need a little assistance. And then we've had 90 year olds wow. that have gotten their high school diplomas. And uh, we've had anywhere from 14 to 23 different countries uh, that come to the Literacy Council. And you're teaching them how to, or just helping them with reading and writing? Well, our computer skills, our tax, the uh, Community Action Council will be doing the taxes uh, free, uh, tax assistance uh, for filing starting February the 4th. Wow. We do do computer training on how to get on the computer and, and how to learn English and uh, get citizenship. Uh, you guys do a, everything. We do, and we're always <laughs> volunteers. That's what's wonderful. No way. That's what's wonderful. And we have anywhere from 14 to 23 different countries that are represented. Wow. And um, I was just talking to a gentleman out in the lobby a few minutes ago about some of the people from Goodfellow that come to the Literacy Council to learn better English. And we've got maybe 10 to 12 right now that are there that are from Puerto Rico and Peru that are coming from Goodfellow that want to learn better English. That and, is awesome. Well, it's exciting to see and, and see the diversion. And uh, uh, there was a young girl that just came in a few minutes ago, and she's from Puerto Rico, and she said, I've met you before. <laughs> and what we say is that San Angelo is such a wonderful place to live. Yes. That it's small enough that you, you connect, you see people. You do, you know. yeah. And uh, she said, you know my brother. <laughs> and I said, oh, yes. And I, now I know who you are. And then you're and like, you're, it's mm -hmm, such a mm -hmm. small world. Yes, yes. And her brother was uh, in our class at one time for ESL. And, uh, but anyway, we, we're pleased. And there's a darling girl that is there this morning that uh, is from Brazil. And oh. she'll be here for two years. Her husband's working with windmills from Brazil. Mm -hmm. Wow. And uh, so, I mean, in San Angelo. <laughs> I know. And talk to Do you have any events coming up that people you need help volunteers with? Or what oh, do you have going on? A volunteer, anyone that wants to help, so it has a gift uh, that wants to share that gift. Uh, we can usually connect them. And I know one of our volunteers was absolutely wonderful, but he said, Marilyn, do you care if I do a, a driver's education course so they can pass well, their driving test? That's a brave test? volunteer right there. <laughs> well, he is, and he was about 65, and I said, oh, well, nice. sure, if you think there's a need. Well, excuse me, but everyone got out of their cars and came to his class, <laughs> and I did not ask anybody if uh, they had insurance. You know, I just thought I'd leave that alone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, You'll uh, stay out of that one. Yeah, yeah. But I was glad they got their driver's license. That's you know, exciting, that's yeah. Mm -hmm. And now we have safe drivers on the street. Right. And we are um, wanting to help Reagan Elementary School that they are going to do a Read Across America celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday oh. on March the 2nd. And so we hope to have some volunteers that go there. We do have a wonderful volunteer that goes to Reagan every Monday from 8 to 9 to help just mothers. Wow. Learned, they, their children are learning English and are progressing, and so the mothers want to. So they they walk their kids to school. They get the school, the kids there, and then the mothers want to stay, and help them. And I think that's a a great idea to help the mothers. That we is know so cool. That the reading level of the mother is directly related to the su success of the child in school. Yes. So it is truly each one teaches one. And for people that want to help volunteer, tell them how they can get a hold of you. Well, at the Adult Literacy Council, and we are on 6th Street, and it's right there on your screen, 6570013. And I also happen to be the only go lightly in the phone book. So, <laughs> so if, if you're you old enough to number. know what a phone book is, if you're <laughs> old enough to know that, you can find me, and there's an answering machine there if I'm not there. Marilyn, thank you so much, <laughs> everyone. That is the Adult Literacy Council. For more information, you can call that number or look Marilyn up in the phone book. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned. I'll be back with Jim Cisneros from the State Park.